first settlers of New Haven in the 17th century were from England, okay? So they were English. That makes kind of a straightforward answer to that. That continued to be the dominant ethnic group uh, well down into the next century, the, uh, the 18th century. It was founded by uh, English Puritans who came here in 1638, okay? The two men in charge were the minister of the church, whose name was uh, John Davenport, okay, and the governor of the colony, whose name was Theophilus Eaton. It seems to me the primary reason people came here, and they came here, I might add, not only from overseas, but also from rural areas of New England. People would grow up way up in Litchfield County, and where was there to work? You had to find a job, and the jobs were here because an industry was here. It became a big industrial base. Uh, we don't think of that today in New Haven, except the old factory buildings, but there were huge industries, Sargent, Winchester, uh, uh, places like see Calls, they're moving out of New Haven up into North Haven right now. The major change in the ethnic makeup of New Haven really occurred in the early 1900s, uh, the early, uh, 1900, early 1800s, the 19th century. Uh, there was a huge immigration to America. Once that started and industrialization was here and there was a reason to come, uh, a lot of other ethnic groups came. There were Germans, there were people from Eastern Europe, a lot of Jewish people came and from Russia, uh, and then the other major uh, immigrant group would be Italians. That would be very late 19th century or early 20th century. All kinds of people came. First of all, there was African Americans that came from the South within the United States. Uh, after the, well, really in the 20th century in great numbers. A lot of Hispanic people from Puerto Rico, Mexico, Ecuador, a lot of people from Ecuador. So right now, anything you want to find, you can probably find in New Haven. There's a Ukrainian church over on, I think it's George Street. The oldest Catholic church in New Haven is St. Mary's down here on Hill House Avenue, and that was established as a Catholic parish uh, in the early uh, 19th century. The oldest building still standing in New Haven is Connecticut Hall at Yale. And that was uh, built, I think, sometime between 18, uh, 1750 and 1755. Nathan Hale lived there. Nathan Hale, the great patriot. The New Haven Museum Photo Archives contains approximately uh, 200,000 images. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how you call it. Uh, we've documented the photographic history of New Haven uh, from the beginning of um, uh, film and photo photographs in general, which was approximately 1845. So our oldest uh, material goes back to about the 1850s. Um, there's only a few pieces here and there, and then the collection builds. Uh, but it goes all the way through uh, modern day, which is 2015. Our, um, our painting of Joseph uh, Cinque is probably our most important uh, here, and um, that's the uh, painting in our Amistad Gallery, and um, it's uh, by Nathaniel Jocelyn, and it depicts um, uh, Cinque, who was um, the leader of a group of slaves uh, or rather not slaves, but, but captured Africans that were being sold uh, into slavery. Mm -hmm.